starts now. Across this nation today, people are trying to make sense out of a, a terrible, terrible hate crime. Shock and grief from coast to coast after a gunman with known ties to hate groups opens fire at a Jewish community center. Among those killed, a 14-year-old boy. And all of this on the night before the start of Passover. News 8's Tina Detail spent the day in New London talking to a local rabbi about what's being called a hate crime now and the significance of this holiday. All year long, this temple has daily services, but for this holiday, they expect more people will fill the sanctuary. This is the Holy Ark, where we have the Torah scrolls. Rabbi Avraham Sternberg has been the spiritual leader at Congregation Ahavath Chesed for 18 years and will lead the eight-day Passover celebration at the New London Temple. Tonight marks exactly 3,326 years since the exodus. The Jewish people were enslaved by the Egyptians. He says miraculously God took the Jews out of Egypt, freeing them. Today, Passover helps Jews break their modern day chains of bad habits and other limited abilities and mindsets to gain the freedom to move forward in their lives. A message he spreads as also the director of Shabbat of Eastern Connecticut. The true definition of freedom is when it's limitless. After the shooting outside a Jewish community center and assisted living facility in Kansas, his first reaction was? Shock, pain. But he says generations of Jewish people know their response has to be positive. Passover may be the perfect opportunity for that, sharing the holiday, sharing the Seder with perhaps one extra person. And when we will increase in our efforts to add light into this world, automatically the darkness will disappear. Again, Passover begins tonight and continues through next Tuesday. In New London, Tina Detell, 